about. Do you want to use Peak for everything? No, no, pretty much not, 90% of the time. Uh, this will be another video too. Uh, it's choosing the right material for your application. You know, do I want Peak because it's the best? No, probably not. A lot of the time, see if nylon can do everything you need and more. Um, there's a ABS. lot of, yeah, ABS. This is ABS. ABS for everything. High temp nylon, especially carbon fiber filled nylon, has changed our industry. So many customers now who wanted Peak, thought they need Peak, and I, I read them the specs for ni the, the nylon, and they say, that would work fine. I go, I have great news. It's a fraction of the price and much easier to print and behaves much more, you know, predictably. Um, the good news is you really do need a high temp printer for us to print that. I mean, I'm printing some in there, at, you know, 310, 320, um, which seems very, very hot, but I'm printing quickly and it, it's a very strong product. It's the black aluminum. That's what, that's, that's going back to the right. metal replacement. Let's talk about that. They nicknamed it black aluminum. Why do they do that, Rob? Because it's got the it's very close tensile strength to actual aluminum. Tensile strength. For specifically. And yes, I've yeah. had many a call where someone calls in and said, what's the black aluminum stuff? Is it to replace, you can print aluminum even, you know, it, 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 it's a misnomer. The name's a bit misleading, but it is damn near aluminum in one specific way. Right, it's super, super rigid, super rigid, close to aluminum. It's cool, when you drop it, if you have a part, we made a hammer out of it and took it to yeah. a show and we're yeah. just driving nails yeah. into a two by four all day long. Super incredible stuff, but for so many machine shops are calling jigs, fixtures, they can be done quickly, cheaper, faster, and, and super strong. Everyone is loving this yeah. material. It's the, H, it's the high temperature nylon specifically. Here's a rant, nylon, you can get nylon, you find it on Amazon, it goes, it's printed at 240. Then you have high temperature nylon that you wanna go up to 290. It's a big temperature range. Remember when we first started, nylon was still like raw in the 3D printing. Yeah, big yeah. Print nylon, that was hot. CF nylon, oh my God, nylon. And yeah. You had to print hot. So what you're seeing, this HTN CF25 is the, the pinnacle of nylon. And it's so much stronger than the stuff that prints at 240, 250. It prints like that because of additives. The HTN, the good stuff, it, why is it $40? But the HTN is $150 because it is so much, unbel so unbelievably strong. And he's, there's, uh, as far as I'm aware, this is the highest percentage of carbon fiber that's ever been put into a filament, 25%. Most are around 13, 14, right? Well, and it depends on the type of aluminum too. Uh, it, like the main problem, the reason that is, is because if you put too much carbon fiber into a filament on 1.75 millimeter diameter, mm -hmm. then you try to spool that around a spool and it's so rigid that it just snaps and it really? breaks and you can't run it through the machine. So what Essentium did to make that work actually is they use a coaxial extrusion process where they have a nozzle with two, like an outer sheath and an inner core. And the inner core is packed with a 25% carbon and the outer sheath is regular nylon, so then you get this strong nylon sheath around the entire thing and it keeps it from breaking. The filament looks really cool. It does, actually, yeah, it's got this even, interesting... Without even being printed, and it prints beautifully yeah. too, yeah. yeah. Essentium is doing some very cool stuff, yeah. besides reinventing PETG, right. you know, it's PCTG, it's similar, but the, 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 is, the isometric, isotropic properties, right. yeah. but recreating PETG. Uh, with PCTG, oh, it can't be that different. It's a copolymer versus the isotropic strength properties of it. This st this stuff is super, super cool. It prints beautifully too. Yeah. yeah, those two materials I recommend all the time. And it's a low temp material. By the way, all these materials that we're talking about, you can find at visionminer.com slash materials. Uh, we do sell printers, materials, scanners, everything else, and that's what keeps us making these videos. So we appreciate your comments, your likes, your subscribes, and your purchases, of course. And always give us a call if you got any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video.